everybody welcome back so it's been a little while since I've gotten to work on the plane here um, the house I'm attempting to sell and get ready to sell is uh, a complete nightmare so here's a little formula I've devised to uh, kind of demonstrate how this has affected the F-16 project okay so now that we understand that, um, the next logical step would have been to get this all primed and everything, but I can't even find the masking tape to mask off that back half there so that we can get it all primed and everything. So we're not going to do that. Um, what I am doing is I'm pulling off any uh, non-essential pieces right now. So I'm pulling off the uh, horizontal stab. I'm going to. Um, the elevators I've pulled off. Um, gonna pop off the wings. I'm gonna take off our uh, hatch here. And then I would like to reinstall our nose gear uh, back in there. So um, I taped up the doors and they've probably been taped up for about gosh probably three or four months now um, I'm hoping that they'll kind of retain their shape a little bit um, probably not I didn't use a heat gun or anything so but uh, that's what we're hoping to do so um, let me put the camera down I'm gonna flip it over uh, try to find a hex wrench that'll work to get the vertical stab off I, I'm having a hard time finding that as well so anyway um, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to flip it over and we'll put the uh, nose gear back in. And the reason I want to do that is because everything is just still in boxes everywhere. I found the screws for that in the shoe box. I've got boxes here of stuff. I've got more boxes here of stuff. Um, anyways, I'm just afraid that that's going to get a little um, get lost. I don't want to lose anything right now. so. Okay, meet you back in just a sec. Okay, so I guess the first step is we're going to remove the masking tape that's been on here forever. Alright, well, looks like we're still going to need to use the heat gun because that did pretty much nothing to, uh, reshape our door. So that was kind of wishful thinking. So to put this back in, uh, crap. <clears throat> I was hoping that I had already put the uh, the other screws back in here but apparently I didn't so I'm gonna have to find those as well. Alright, I should just need to did this in the other videos it went in a lot easier so what am I doing wrong here? There we go. Okay. And it should be easy enough to connect the push rod uh, to that so I don't need to do that right now. Um, but I do need to find a screwdriver. Alright, the wood screws go in the back. These use uh, machine screws up front.
Find those other screws. I'll find those and I'll be right back. Okay, got lucky, found them. So let's put those bad boys in. Oop, wrong way. It kind of almost seemed as if uh, absolutely nothing was happening there, didn't it? Also need to countersink these screws just a, a hair too. They're a little funky right now. They kind of poke out on the top, so not gonna have that. All right, so our nose gear is reinstalled. So pretty much the projects I have to do now have to be a hundred percent. Fundage free so whatever I can do without spending money is what I need to do right now so um, somewhere I've got that push rod so see if I can find that um, not sure that I'm gonna have anything to connect it to the uh, servo though so all right so that's it for right now Okay, found the push rod I'm going to use. Um, it's threaded on both sides. Um, I don't have a ruler out here right now, so I don't know what the length of this is, but uh, I'm pretty sure I can make it work. Um, looks like it might be maybe 10 inches, 8 inches, I don't know. Anyway, so let's go ahead and connect that. I think all we need to do is pop it in here. And Threading it. And I'm going to thread it all the way till it stops here because this push rod is just a, probably a hair longer than we want it. Um, in fact, we might even need to, I don't know if you can see it down there, but we might even need to cut about maybe a quarter inch off of this and uh, it still works just fine. So 
the next thing I was wondering was how is this going to work with the interactions with the landing gear right here. But if you look, okay, so let's say push rod's moving, or the servo's moving it. Okay, so that's how it's going to move our wheel. I was wondering how it's going to work there. And it appears. So it still fully close, uh, closes and I don't think it really interacts at all but what we can do is right about there is bend it down to kind of shape with the duct a little bit and then we'll have to bend it back up when we get back here to the, uh, to the servo and then we'll make our connection right there but uh, overall I think it's going to work pretty good. And it's still just barely touching um, up here on the nose wheel. It's rubbing against the duct, but not very much. So we'll have to play with that a little bit. Oh, okay. That's what was going on. Okay. We do not want to thread this all the way in. That's why it was giving me such a limited throw on that wheel. You can see it's a lot better now. I had it threaded way too far. So, all right. So that's where we are right now. And I'll keep tinkering and give you another video in a bit.